the sand battery refrigerator is not dead yet. It wants to come to life. I'm emptying the sand. I have a new theory. Don't breathe that, kid. So after putting some thought into this thing, I realized I went the wrong direction with this heat. Well, it's a nasty storm blew in here from the west. It's been cold. A nasty winter this year. So, my conclusion is, I went the wrong direction with this heat. It should have stayed right flush with this element. I'm thinking about right flush to there or and below. So the box needs to go down in this direction. It won't be too hard to, to rearrange it. I just haven't got back to it. I thought about it for a while. So I'm sure some of you were wondering what happened with this project. It didn't work. <laughs> in fact, it, it worked worse once I put the sand on than it did without the sand. And I came to the conclusion that it's because, well, this is my guess. I put the sand above this heating element and the factory heat is down here. It stops here. So I shouldn't have had this heat way up here as far as I can tell. I shouldn't have had the heat all the way up. And it may not even work. It's just an experiment. But I'm going to try it again anyway. And I'll be getting to this soon. So the elements were too high up on this ammonia tubing, I believe. I'm not sure exactly what's in it. I think it's ammonia. And it was just causing it to heat up and it got it didn't even get as cool as it was without the sand. It actually just pretty much shut it down. <laughs> so now I'm hoping if I put this down here instead about right here well I might cut this the element should start about here turn it upside down maybe <laughs> or make a totally new box I'll probably end up making a new box obviously this is another potential smaller propane refrigerator I'll be experimenting on also if I can make the other one work and I know I can make ice at least during the day so I'll probably have them both hooked up eventually